All right, guys. Splite versus a Runic variant. So he's gonna start off with his Nimbo combo. Get Blue out. Get Jet. Add Sprite starter. All right. Gonna go for Gigantic. For those of you who know, who know, you know. We're gonna get Ibli. Level 2 Supremacy, guys. Link Summon for a Splice Sprint. Uh, tried to chain link, uh, chain link 3 to the Ibli, but unfortunately, uh, he's level 2 locked. So, uh, Splice Sprint. Alright, now he's summoning uh, Nimble Beaver. The opponent is now a Blee Lock, by the way. So what that means is that he can't special summon anything but Lynx. Although, if he has SP Little Knight, he should be fine. Alright, he's going for the Melfi combo now. Alright, he'll, he'll pay 1,000 to starter the Sprite Splite Cranberry. Summon Melfi... Caddy. Alright. And he sets... I think he set two. I think he got other cards in his hand. I'm not sure. Alright. He's got some uh, plays with the Melfi cards now. So... Alright. Let's see how he rebuttals. Main phase. All right, flashing fire to target to destroy and then advances to top four. Oh, and he hit a called by too. That's great hit. He didn't even get a chance to use it neither. Shame. Should be another flashing fire. Oh no, not yet. Uh, guiding Quen. There it is. Classic fire. Target destroy. Top four. The top two. Alright. Sent Cortesia to grave. When did I mix those two up? I don't quite remember. Alright, Little Knight. Banish Cranberry. Alright, it's going for. Them. He's going to leave main phase and go into battle. Then go right into main phase two. Interesting how we've seen that a couple times this uh, in this series. I think that happened in the first round. I think. Alright. Set two, end phase, and pass. Alright. Well, we see another Super Poly play. Alright. Going to attack mode. It's gonna activate... Uh, gigantic... Chain SP Little Knight. Alright. Battle. And then he's going to attempt to summon the... Bistial he tried to summon in the last turn. Uh, and then he summons his own little knight. Very funny. Yeah, we all gotta be prepared with our own SPs. Alright, setting two. Oh. Top four, and then he destroyed it. Flashing fire. Alright.
All right. He's gonna have use that effect to summon Rugen. I still need a couple extra splite card. I mean, not splite. I still need a couple extra runic cards too. I just got that one. Okay, so they all just sort of, uh, they all just, uh, I think he attempted to go into battle and then they all just, all the SP Little Knights went off. <laughs> That's how it is. Alright, now he gets his Runic Fountain. Alright, he ended, they all come back. Actually, a good uh, back and forth. The Battle of the SP Little Knights. Alright, battle phase. Attack the Mugen or Hugin. Gigantic. Uh, gonna crash the two SPs and he let it go through. Alright. Oh, dang, and then he gets the triple-A Zeus. All right. All right, I think he just resolved the effect of uh, that Sword Soul card in his grave to add. All right, he summons. All right, summons them both. One special is the other one normals. All right, now he's chaining triple-A Zeus. Because... It's like, nope to that nonsense. All right. They're one to one right now. We'll take it. All right, Deep Sea Minstrel, he discards a, that and a Water Monster, and then he gets to... I think he gets to randomly discard a card from his opponent's hand. Very interesting card, actually. All right, Deep Sea Diva, all right. He's going to get a level 3 or lower Sea Serpent from the deck. Another copy of Deep Sea Minstrel. <laughs> all right, he's going to turn Zeus into attack. And then battle. Alright. Can Ruta come back? Looks like he's misplaying a little bit, but uh. Special summon. Then uh. Fountain. And now he's activating Runic Tip to add. I think he's gonna get the Runic Fountain off next, too. Alright, yeah, the Splite player quit. Yeah, I don't really blame him. Because he was about to pop off and then probably banish. Would it take... It better to go to round two and, like, try again. Because if you couldn't wipe him out in the last turn, there was really no point. So, uh... Yeah, guys. Uh, Runic takes it. Let's go to round two. Alright. Splite player going first again. Alright, main face. Nimble Beaver. And immediately followed by an Ash. Special Cranberry. Jet. Jet effect. Alright, starter. Our typical Splite plays here. Get blue. In fact, the blue, he took a thousand, I think, by the way, for starter. <clears throat> All right, cranberry. Oh, I'm sorry, not cranberry. Red or carrot. All right. We'll probably see the gigantic Ebli play again. 
Because why wouldn't you at this rate? A blee. Or I mean, sorry, gigantic into a blee. C. Guess you should have waited on that ash blossom, huh? All right, looks like he's uh got ahead of himself. He didn't use materials yet. All right, it blue and blue. So we got Sprite Sprint, Chain Link One. It blue, Chain Link Two. Much like the last first turn, guys. All right, Nimble Beaver. Two Nimble Beavers. Gotta love the Nimble package, man. Especially in Splite. All right, now we got a Melfi combo. And phase caddy. All right. Let's go. Once again, Runic is now fusion locked. Or really a special summon locked locked except for links. Main phase. Alright, tribute summon for the bestial. And flashing fire. Target caddy. Alright. Chain link one and two. Alright, we're gonna chain link three, negate with cranberry, and then chain tip. To summon. Summon is good, flashing fire is negated. Mugen. In fact, the Mugen, discard duality. That card is a good card, by the way, duality. Talk about one of those uh, anime slash manga cards they probably should have never actually printed. Uh, okay, interesting. We had a chain from the link. I mean, sorry, the XYZ, and immediately a chain from duality from hand to get rid of the Mugen, which was the target. All right. High IQ Yu-Gi-Oh going on in here, guys. That's an interesting fusion to make, too. But I guess it's technically an option, though, isn't it? All right, get the fountain. Duali two dualities in grave and a fountain. He's getting his hand back. All right, he's going to bounce the uh, bestial back. All right. Looks like he banished the jet from his grave. All right, he's going to use the effect of duality now. Shuffle a light and dark and draw a card from in grave. Banish duality. All right, he's going to negate with Herald. Herald of Art like. All right. Okay, it looks like he scooped. Uh, yeah, I guess he was going to have to play some catch up and they're on the clock. So, all right, guys, who will take it? Runic or Splite? All right, guys, round three of the Phantom Nightmare Championships. Who will take it? Runic or Splite? We're going to start off with Flashing Fire. Go into Mugen. All right, discards Druus to add Fountain. All right, Lubellion will search him Magnemut. 
Danny Hume's special Magna Mutt. Oh, not before he activates Branded Reincarnation. All right, Nordic Fountain. Change the runic tip to search. Alright, Lubellian effect engraved to tribute the Magnumut to Special itself. Alright, so he banished the top three. The Bistial. The Bistial Luber. Uh, banish a card in his own grave to get the other bestial out. And then go into Barone. And SP Little Knight. That's a good first turn board. Alright. Alright. How will display player rebuttal? Alright, Nimble Beaver. All right, SP Little Knight. Splice Starter. And he's going to chain SP and then he'll chain Flashing Fu or Chalice. Yeah, Runic Chalice because it negated and didn't destroy. Guess he got it off somehow. So evenly match. He left Baron. I see he removed it. Okay. So he's got Baron back. Banish uh, Bissio Luber. And then he chained DD Crow. Okay, now he's going to get Druid Swarm out. Do the same thing. Banish the card from Grave for cost. That DD Crow was a nice little snipe, by the way. Alright. And now he passes. Alright, Splite Blue. All right, special blue, but no effects. Probably gonna go into gigantic. Incorrect. He goes for the Zeus, the Dark Zeus. He gets rid of that Baron. All right, he's gonna. He almost didn't trigger it, but he's gonna negate it. All right, now. Okay, no, it's still not blue. He declared battle. He took no battle damage, though. So, okay. All right, and he got the actual Zeus out. Triple A. Let's go. All right, Bissio Lubellion. He's going to chain the effect of Zeus to wipe the board. Alright, target SP to summon uh, Bissio Sonar, I think it's called. Alright. Nimble Beaver. Alright, there's the gigantic. Alright, special jet effect. No bleed this time. Although, he doesn't really have many plays, so I don't really blame him for going into his combos at this rate. It's 
Play starter. He'll take another thousand. Goes in the cranberry. All right, Lincoln to. Wow, Nightmare Phoenix, and then get rid of the fountain, and then we're gonna go gigantic in the battle. He got rid of a drone lockbird to get rid of that fountain. Worth it. All right, normal summon Quim. Oh yeah, the uh, sonar got a Quim into his graveyard. By the way, guys. Now he'll send Cartesia to the grave due to Quim's effect. All right, duality. Return a light and dark and draw a card. Alright, effective gigantic exploit. I think he's gonna go into caddy if I remember right. Yep. Again, he didn't draw into his first play combo, so he's gotta get him now. Alright, attack into Quem. Take 17. And attack with Caddy, he takes 200. So it's 54 over 45, guys. Runing's at 54, splites at. 45. Alright. It's Runic Chalice to, I think, Fusion. Yep. Fusion the Mugen. Alright. Attempt to activate Caddy on Summon a Mugen. Alright. Duality. Chain Duality. Alright. They'll special summon the Peacock. I think there's five minutes left to this game, guys. Getting his combi caddy combo synchro into Herald of Arc Light. Alright, another duality. Interesting. I didn't know you could activate that more than once per turn. Maybe use that last turn. Alright, battle phase, main phase two. And N. He gets those cards back from the grave. Nimble Beaver. We got the gigantic out. Where do we go for now? Already attacked. Took a thousand. And he summoned the Zeus, although he's going to have to use the Splite as material. He catches him on that. There you go. Dark Zeus is out now. Alright, special the Sword Soul card. And now he will normal summon, I think it's going to be Quem or Cartesia. Cartesia. Alright, he's going to go into battle. He's going to attack the Angler. And then he'll attack the Beaver. Alright, it's a close game, guys. We will take it. Alright. Quem's effect activates. 
he will attempt to imperm it. All right. Effect to bounce it. And then he'll attack the Sword Soul card. He takes 14. 3,000 over 34. We are very close. And we are running out of time. So. Normal Summon Quem. Or, sorry, Cartesia. Classic Fire to pop. Then he attacks. And he banishes the top two. I think that's time, guys. So I think uh, Runic won. Yep, Runic won, guys. All right. Tune into round four to see who will take the Johnny B's Phantom Nightmare tournament. Hey, how's everybody doing? I'd like to thank everybody who made it this far into the video. I just have one little quick thing I'd like to put at the end here. I am trying to save up funds for a trip to YCS, North Carolina, Riley's. So if you are already going to look for singles on TCG players, consider browsing my storefront. That's all I had to say to you guys. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed the video.